Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, today's video, probably going to be a little bit of a short one, but we're going to be doing a little sticker tutorial. Kind of like the you know, like rear window banner uh, tutorials I did, but it's mainly for stickers. And the sticker we're doing today is the Carboy sticker, the one you can see on my car right now at the bottom of the back windshield. Not windshield, about really the back window. Um, this one's pretty easy. It's literally just like putting letters down and just layering them correctly. Yeah, that's basically it. And then you basically just have to make a custom A, but it's really not that hard. So we're just going to go straight into it. Um, I'm just going to be doing this on my 180. Um, if you guys want to know how to make that Vertex sticker at the very top, I can uh, show you how in a different video. You could comment down below, let me know. So first of all, open up your livery if you haven't done that already. What, are, what the hell are you doing? Get that shit open this instant. First step, you're going to want to over go, go over here to this font category, the first one. And you can put this on wherever, you, wherever you, you know, whatever part of your car you want. I'm just going to put it on the window because that's the most common place to have it. So now what you do is you just scale it down to like... Uh, whatever size you want that really fits just you know make room make sure you have enough you know room for yourself probably going to put it like this size and now what i do is i just copy it over just like that and i'll show you why i'll show you why we do this because what you can do is when you go back to that decal and if you don't if, if you don't press a on it or whatever it is on ps4 or pc if you press your left trigger or you know your console equivalent you can press x and change it and now since we're doing a carboy sticker you think we'd want to have an a because a as in you know in, the, in car we're not going to do that we're going to go to v and what we're going to do is when once we select the v you're just going to want to flip it upside down and this is where it becomes a little important to make sure that oh my gosh this camera is driving me nuts is that make sure it's straight because you don't want it like curved up at a weird angle so you want to just go through and replace all of these you know, just with the letters that spell out carboy. All right, now that I'm done with that. You can see it. I, I did an absolutely shit job of make, leaving myself some space. So I'm gonna readjust these a little, not too much. And now like at this point, we're literally halfway there. Like we're almost done. And oh my gosh, this camera is gonna make me commit heinous crimes in Afghanistan or whatever country, I don't know. We're gonna adjust these. Okay, I'm just not okay. So I'm I'm just not gonna line this up perfectly. Uh, you guys can do that by yourself. This is more of an example. So once you've done that, uh, I actually I'm gonna go back and check on my other car to see uh, how they're supposed to be uh, layered. Go back into this font category and then grab the eye right here. Put it on the window or whatever part of the uh, car you're working on and just connect the bottom and you might want to go into a test drive or zoom in to check that if to check if this you know i letter i lines up with the a because i actually can show you on my uh that's not the right car on my <laughs> um arena that it, it is not lined up properly I and mean, i'll just jump into the test drive real quick to show you see how that does not line up at all this is why you're going to want to go into test drive and check if this lines up see like the bottom of the a isn't straight i put way too much shadow on the c i i i, I majorly fucked up on the r like it's really hard to do this on console especially if you have a really low quality monitor like i do so I just, want to, I just want you guys to know that. Just double check, go into test drive, go into camera mode, zoom in, and see if uh, you did it correctly. Now, enough rambling. Once you've done that, this is where, like, we're, we're basically done at this point. You could really just leave it right here, and people who know what the carboy sticker is will understand what you're getting at. But if you want to take it the extra step further, you get this one, this decal right here. I'll show you which one it is. It's this one in the racing stripe category you uh paint it black and you don't want to scale it down yet you want to line it up before you scale it down and make sure this is the same color as the window i think it's gloss isn't it yeah i think so okay whatever and once you're done with that once you did that scale it down and then scale it up and kind of like have it run parallel to the A if that makes any sense. It probably doesn't, but 
you just want to kind of like the a is on top of the r you know you want to get that depth effect this is how you do it and it's just just line it up you know take some time line it up and do that now once you're done with that part you're going to go back all the way back to your c duplicate it and go to this one the, the c below the c you just duplicated change its color to black the same color as your window of course and then just duplicate it over and over actually hold on we have to move the v and the yeah we have to move the v and the i below the uh all of this i forgot sorry this video is very this structure this video is structured very poorly okay there we go now you did that you can go back to duplicating the c i as you can see i duplicated a little too far so you can go back and delete a little bit and you duplicate up make sure to duplicate down boom so now it looks like that c is on top of that a and then what you do is go over to your B, put that on top of the O. So when you're looking at your uh, decals, it should be C R O B Y. And then your uh, A right down here should be at the bottom. So once you did that, take your B, duplicate it, turn the bottom B black, same color as your window. Boom, done. And then you just do the same thing for the Y. Change it to black. And just duplicate it so it just barely, you know, looks like it's on top. I did a little too much there, but you got you get the idea. Um the R I put the R and R and the B a little too close together. Uh make sure you don't do that because it looks a little weird. Um I will mention, if you haven't get if you haven't figured this out by now. You have to make your windows completely opaque. They got to be completely black for this to work. If you want to, you know, have the gaps between the letters and have it over layering and over uh, overlapping and stuff. Otherwise, it's going to look re really freaking weird. Um, I just wanted to point that out. And if you haven't figured that out already. Uh, oof, that that uh, that sucks. Anyway, uh, that's basically it. It's pretty easy. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, leave a comment down below if you want to see this Vertex sticker in the next video. Or how to make this style of livery, which is extremely simple and only takes a couple minutes to do. Um, without all that way, uh, if I, I hope I earned your like and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.